Hello and welcome to Mom's Gone Frugal. My name is Kim and today I'm going to be sharing with you the first recipe in my Crocktober series. I'm going to be doing one crock pot meal every week for the month of October. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my family's taco soup recipe. I absolutely love this recipe. I make it all the time, especially in fall and winter. So let's get down to the counter and I will show you everything you need and what to do. Since I don't have any taco meat left over from tacos, I'm just going to brown up about a pound of ground beef and about half an onion. This is a little under a pound, but I'm just going to get this all mixed up and cooked through. Now I'm just going to add about a quarter cup or so of taco seasoning. I really like to get these big ones in bulk at Sam's or Costco when they are on sale just because we do make tacos quite often and I also use it in several other recipes as well. And so I'm just getting that mixed in. I'm going to finish cooking this beef. Now that the burger is all cooked through, I'm just going to add one can of black and one can of pinto beans and I did drain and rinse those. I'm also going to be adding one can of regular diced tomatoes. And then I'm also adding one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. This gives it a really excellent flavor. I usually do more green chilies, but this is what I had in my pantry at the time. And then one can of whole kernel corn. And I don't drain the juice or anything out of any of these because it helps give it some extra flavor. And then this is kind of my secret ingredient, some nacho cheese. I add about half a can to three quarters of a can. This helps get the soup creamy and it gives it even more flavor. I can definitely tell when this is not in there. I have forgotten it a couple times or I don't have it on hand when I've made this in the past and it's, it's still good but not as good. So I'm just getting this all mixed in and cor incorporated. Now I am just adding about a cup and a half to a cup and a three quarters of water and I'm just getting that all mixed together. And then I did add a little too much water. I probably should have added like a quarter to a half a cup less. But now I'm just adding a little bit more taco seasoning, probably an eighth of a cup, maybe to a quarter of a cup. I did add a little bit more. So if you want to add about a quarter of a cup, that should be good. And then you can just taste it later on to see if it needs a little bit more for your taste. And then just get the lid on and I am cooking this on high for about four to five hours. And then this is just my husband scooping up a bowl. This turned out so good. I do like mine a little bit spicier, but since my kids eat it too, I didn't want to go too overboard. And you can top yours with whatever you would like. I like to top mine with shredded cheese, a little bit of sour cream, and then of course I have to have my Fritos for a little bit of crunch and to scoop it out as well. I really like the scoops and then the chili cheese Fritos are just delicious with it. So I definitely do that as well. But you can top it with jalapenos, tomatoes, onions, just kind of whatever your little heart desires. And that is my family's favorite taco soup recipe. I do add a few other things occasionally. I have added fresh jalapenos into the soup. I've also added canned jalapenos just to give it a little bit of a kick. But since my two-year-old has been eating our food and as well as my 10 month old has been eating a little bit of ours. I didn't want to get it too spicy because then they wouldn't eat it. But this is one of our favorite, favorite recipes. I've also done it with shredded chicken to cut down the costs a little bit. But I always have burger in our freezer. My mom gets a cow every year and she shares with us. So I always have burger, so that's why I use that. But this is definitely one of our favorite, favorite, favorite recipes, and I make this all year long, especially in fall and winter, and 
Occasionally I have leftover taco meat if I make like three pounds of taco meat when I make tacos, which I don't do very often, but I love this. It's great to use up the extra ingredients that you have from tacos, whether it's nacho cheese or just some shredded cheese and some fresh tomatoes, onions, that sort of thing. This is a really easy meal to hide vegetables in too. I've put carrots in it. I've also put bell peppers in there. There's so many different possibilities with this. You can blend, just uh, steam some up and blend it too so it's even more hidden in there. But it also helps give a little more flavor too. But this is delicious. Let me know down below if you try it. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my Croctober videos. And I will see you next time.